Well, I was unable to get an interview with James Rolfe and Mike Matei, but I was able to finally meet Nathan Barnett, also known as Keith Cut. Well, unfortunately, I was not able to get an interview with James Rolfe, Mike Matei, Dan, or Greg, but I was able to meet them, though. However, I was able to get an interview with Keith Apicelli, whose real name is Nate Barnett, Norman Caruso, who is the gaming historian. I also met Pixel Dan, and lastly, Pat Contre, better known as Pat the NES Punk. Keith, Norman, and Pat were nice enough to give me advice on how to be a successful YouTuber, just like they are. I hope you enjoy these interviews that I was able to do with them. Enjoy, everyone. Unfortunately, I was not able to interview James, Mike, Dan, or Greg, but I was able to meet them. However, to make up for this, I was able to interview and meet Nathan Barnett, also known as Keith. Unfortunately, I was not able to meet James Rolfe, Mike Matei, Dan, or Greg. Unfortunately, I was not able to interview James. Unfortunately, I was not able to interview James, Mike, Dan, or Greg, but I was able to meet all four of them. And, however, I did also get to meet Nathan Barnett, who is known as Keith Apicelli, a character he plays. I also got to meet Norman Caruso, the gaming historian, who was sharing the same panel. And Unfortunately, I was not able to interview James, Mike, Dan, or Greg, but I was able to meet them. To make up for this, I was able to finally meet and interview Nathan Barnett, who plays Keith Apicelli, Pat Contre, the NES punk, and lastly, Norman Caruso, the gaming historian. Enjoy these clips, everyone. Well, during my day at um, Too Many Games 2017, I was able to have this, my old Sega Genesis 32X and Sega CD, respectively, Signed by the gaming historian himself, the angry video game nerd, and of course Mike Bate, who has played characters such as the Joker, Bugs Bunny, to even... Well, today I was able to get this old relic signed, my Sega... Well, today I was able to get this old relic signed, my Model 2 Sega Genesis, Model 2 Sega CD, and 32X attached to it. It was signed by Norman Caruso, James Rolfe, and Mike Matei, the Angry Video Game Nerd, and the Gaming Historian, respectively. They were nice enough to sign this for me, and I thank them dearly from the kindness of my heart for signing this. I'll never forget that experience at all. Well, one of the first people I got advice from was none other than Nathan Barnett, also known as Keith Affecary. He's a great guy. He told me to be myself, and so did a couple of others enjoy what I recorded from him. Even though I got to meet James, Mike, and Dan and Greg, I was not able to get an interview with them. However, I do have some clips featuring them. Enjoy. I finally did get to meet Pat the NES Punk. Pat Contre. He was very nice. Just like Nathan and Norman, he was also nice enough to give me advice and told me how he got into game collecting, etc. Enjoy. When I got to meet the gaming historian Norman Caruso, he was very nice, he was very kind, just like Pat and Nathan, he also gave me advice on how to be a great YouTuber as well. Enjoy my interview with him. One of the reasons why I couldn't do the interview with James and Mike was because the lines were really crowded and the fact that 
I almost ended up not meeting him because of the fact the lines were capped and all due to the fact there were a lot of people and, and they were and it was crowded too. Well, I almost ended up not meeting James because of the line being really crowded and all. However, patience paid off and the wait was worth it. And I finally did get to meet him and Mike. Well, the first YouTuber I met at Too Many Games. Then after the interview with Pat, I finally got to meet Norman Caruso, also known as the Game Ming Historian.